In this video, I wanted to review Pecora v. Wabash Railway, which was decided by Justice Cardozo in 1934. What are the facts? The plaintiff, Pecora, was driving his ice truck and reached a railroad crossing. Defendant, Wabash, had four railroad tracks running north and south. There were boxcars at the first track, which blocked the view of the tracks of the north. The plaintiff stopped, looked, and listened. However, the plaintiff did not hear a bell or whistle. When the plaintiff reached the main track, he was hit by a train from the north at a speed of 25, 30 miles per hour. At trial, the district court directed a verdict for the defendant as it held that the plaintiff was guilty of contributory negligence. The Court of Appeals affirmed that decision. The Court of Appeals relied on Goodman, citing that if a driver cannot be sure whether a train is dangerously close, he must stop and get out of his vehicle. Supreme Court then granted certiorari. What is the legal issue? Was the plaintiff negligent for not getting out and walking to the front of the track or the truck to survey the scene? What was the holding? The judgment was reversed and remanded. It is for the jury to decide what is suitable for the traveler where ordinary safeguards fail him. The reasoning, the Pennsylvania rule states that you have a duty to stop as well as to look and listen no matter how clear the crossing on either side may be. Goodman, on the other hand, makes it clear that the duty is based on the present impediments where sight and hearing become inadequate. It is undisputed that the plaintiff stopped before he started to cross the tracks. To get out of a vehicle and survey the area is an uncommon precaution. Besides being uncommon, it is likely to be futile and even dangerous. By the time the driver regains his seat and sets his car in motion, the hidden train may be upon him. A train traveling at a speed of 30 miles an hour will cover a quarter of a mile in 30 seconds. Further, there needs to be caution and framing standards of behavior. And here is one of Cardozo's famous quotes. They are then not natural flowerings of behavior in its customary forms, but rules artificially developed and imposed from without. So the rule of law to extract, extraordinary situations may not wisely or fairly be subjected to test or regulations that are fitting for the commonplace. And that's it. Hope you got some use out of it. Thank you.